Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your blackout poetry self-portrait. Let's get started. So here I have a page. This is about um, North American Indians or Native Americans and their history. I've got a pencil. What I want to do is find words on this page that go with who I am. I'm going to use my pencil to circle them. So let's get started. So I would look for anything that I feel goes with who I am and my personality. You can make a poem out of these words if you like, or you can just pick words that go with you. So it says, I'm going to read it out and just show you which ones I'm circling. Invited many Indian delegations to Washington, D.C. to come also to New York, among those to speak. I talk a lot, so I'm going to put speak. At Cooper Union were the suits. I don't know how to say that. All right. To so the northern. Da, 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 sought to reassume its administration over Indian affairs from the Department of the Interior. Cooper and Beeson, who believed that the civilian control. I like to be in control of things, so I put control. Could maintain lasting peace. I like peace, so I'm going to select peace. And lead to their social and economic elevation. So I'm going to push social, because I'm pretty social most of the time. Alright, so that's just an example. So these are the words that I circled. Oh, let me zoom in. Speak, control, peace, and social. Then I would go through the whole page and pick out the best words that represent who I am. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright, so I've gone through here and picked out a bunch of words that define me. I'm a sister. I am a she. I'm organized. I'm open. Um, I have resolutions. I like to smile. I'm a woman. I'm special. I'm an individual. I like trust. So basically what I want you guys to do is find words that um, go with who you are and circle them in pencil. After you do that, it's time to start drawing our self-portrait here according to the facial proportions map. So we're going to review this in class more specifically, um, but this is a quick overview. This is the breakdown of the face, which is typically uh, close to an oval shape. Um, right down the middle here, we split the face in half. All right. The space between the eyes should be equal to one eye. So if you drew three equal sized eyes, the space right here should be about the same size as an eyeball. Um, right around halfway on our oval, you will have the eyes, all right, and then halfway between the eyes and the chin, which is the bottom of the oval, you'll have the nose, and then if you split that space in half again, you'll have the bottom of the lips, all right. Any hair is going to be on top of the top part of the oval because, you know, your hair extends outside of where your skull is. So what I'm going to do now is identify my main characteristics, and I'm going to draw them um, in a portrait here. So what are my main characteristics? Well, I have mid-length hair. I have um, brown eyes. I do my makeup with a cat eye. I have a distinct nose. My lips are average size. I put them as medium. Uh, what else would be distinct about me? I don't have any major marks on my face. Um, I guess my ears would be medium size as well. I have white skin, tan. All right, so that's a pretty good list. There may be other things that identify me that I'll think of. Oh, I've got a nose ring. 
I also have a lot of ear piercings. And I don't usually wear lipstick, so it would not color my lips dark. No lipstick. All right, now that I have these things, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing myself on this piece of paper. I'll use a pencil so you may not be able to see it. I wanna fill the whole page, so I'm gonna start with an oval. Okay, so I'll draw it over here as well, an oval. Now, I know that my eyes will go right around here, so once I have my oval drawn, I'll look at it, you can't see much of it, but here's the lines that I started drawing for that. So once I have the oval, I'm gonna to start to mark the middle of that. So here's the bottom and here's the top. So right around here would be the middle. And I'm drawing lightly. I'm gonna to start to draw the eyes now. So I know that the eyes are gonna be in this area with equal space in the middle here. All right, so not too close to the edge. So let's see if I draw one eye here. Now you can look at a picture of yourself while you draw. That might help you to make it look more like you. You're welcome to do a realistic style or a cartoonish style, but it needs to have things that go along with what you look like and what makes you look like who you are. How do you wear your hair? What kind of marks do you have on your face? Do you look like your mom? Do you look like your dad, your granny? You know what I'm saying? All right, so those are my eyes. You can start seeing them here. They're not exactly equal. I think my eyes are kind of big and I like the way they look. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna start adding my makeup. I usually wear a cat eye when I do put on makeup. So I'm gonna put a little flip at the end there. When you draw your face, you can also think of the expression you usually make. Are you usually serious? Are you usually smiling? What do you look like when you are? Um... At school, what do you look like? Or what do you think of yourself as? Are you a happy person? So my eyes would be somewhere around there. So next I know that if I divide the space between my chin and my um, eyes in half, that will be where my nose is. Now it won't be the exact same for everyone, but it's usually close to this. So I'm going to go ahead and measure between the eyes and the chin, and then right around here will be my nose. So since my nose is pretty distinct, I'm going to make sure to have big nostrils and a round end part. I can give a tutorial on how to draw noses. Um, I usually do mine kind of the same way, but if you have another way of doing it, you're welcome to use that. Again, um, you want to try and make it look like who you are, right? So. That's what we're doing here. I may need to redraw this once I look at a picture and kind of see how it really, really looks. But for now, that's pretty good. All right, and I have a nose ring, so I'm gonna draw my nose ring as well. I think it's pretty small little nose ring. All right. Um, let me draw that over here. So I drew basically something that looks like this. And then I drew my nose ring here. All right, next would be my lips. This space between here, between your nose and your chin, divided in half, that marks the bottom of your lips. 
So if I know that this is where my nose is and this is where my chin is, then my lips would be ending right around here. And I'm typically a pretty um, happy person, so I'm going to make my mouth look like it's turned up. But my teeth aren't straight right now, so I usually keep my mouth closed for pictures. So you should also know that between the eyes, so the center of your eye, the center of your eye marks how um, wide your smile will be. All right, so between here and here should be the size of the mouth. So you can see if I draw from the center of each of these eyes down, that's about as big as the mouth should be. Now, of course, everyone's is a little different, but most people follow guidelines similar to this. So here's the bottom of the nose and here's the chin. All right, so here's gonna be my mouth. I'm not always happy, but I like when I feel happy, so I'm gonna draw that on there. And my lip size is kind of medium. I'm not too small, but not big either. And all right, that looks all right to me. Maybe a little bit smaller here on the bottom. Okay. All right, after that, I'm going to go ahead and draw my ears and the sides of my face. Now, my face is not perfectly round, but it's also not really thin either. So depending on how much weight you carry, I know I have cheekbones that you can see a little bit. And then my face is kind of an oval after that. So that's how I would draw that. So basically, my cheekbones are like between here and here, kind of like hers, but a little bit less well-defined. And younger people usually have more rounder faces, so if you're a little bit younger, your face might be a little bit more rounder. If you're a little bit older, you might see start to see more definition. based on your chin and how you look. And... All right, so that's looking good. I think I may have made the eyes a little bit big, so I'm going to go ahead and make them a little smaller. Luckily, I drew lightly and with pencil, so when you're drawing, make sure you draw lightly with pencil. Now, is this going to look just like you, like a picture? No. But it is going to be a fun little project. All right. So, here's the top part of my face. I had drawn my circle ending, I mean, my, um, what is it, oval ending up here. So, between here and here is going to be where my hairline is. So, I'm going to try to draw right around here. That's where my hair starts to grow. So let me show you what I just did on this one. So up here is the top of my head, and right around here is where my hair would start. So my hair would go like this. Now I've got it kind of mid-length right now. So when I draw my hair, I'm gonna I always wear it behind my ears. So I'm gonna draw it going like this behind my ears and then flipping out at the bottom. Okay. Sometimes there's some stragglers, so those pieces might stick out. So that would be my hair. So I need to draw my ears. The ears are always between the eyebrow area and the nose area. So between in this general area. And depending on how big your ears are, you may see them a lot or you might not. Or how far back your ears lay. 